All right, it has been a hot minute since I have done a speed review. I have so much product, so we're gonna go as fast as I possibly can. Let's get going. Some of these things I've actually already decluttered, and the first item is one of those. So that will give you an idea of my final thought of this. It was the Beauty Pie Super, Super Luminous Skin Genius Tint. So this was a very glowy, I mean, it is called Super Luminous, it was hydrating and it actually looked pretty on my skin. The problem I had with it is that it was so glowy that I had to put so much powder on it to tone it down. It didn't give that much coverage, but it is a skin tint. So I didn't anticipate it that it would. Beauty Pie, you have to have a membership. So if you already have a membership and you haven't tried this and you really like a very glowy kind of foundation, then I would say go ahead and try it because it literally did look nice on my skin. It's just not right for my skin. The second thing that I tried in that video was their Super Luminous Serum Concealer. I also decluttered this. And this is one of those that I actually don't think, even if you have a membership, I would recommend, unless you barely have anything to cover and then why do you need a concealer? I just thought this was way too luminous for under my eyes. I don't want luminosity here very much. I, I mean, I'm gonna powder it down. Any kind of shimmer or glow or anything is just going to amplify any kind of imperfections or if you've got wrinkles like I'm 57 of course I have wrinkles and then on top of that it didn't give me much coverage so I just don't think that one is worth it even if you do have a membership already all right in that video I also talked about this it's from Kosas and it's their brow pop nano I have tried this several times I don't think the actual product is actually that bad the problem I have with it is that it breaks off so easily. The reason is, is that it's a nano. It's very, very thin. It just kept breaking on me. This is not a cheap product. So to me, it's just not worth it. This one is a no-go. Okay, I also tried another a thing from Kosas in that video and it was called Kosas Undressed. This is an Ibra eyeshadow palette. I really liked the colors, like I thought they were great. I had two complaints and I still have that complaint first. The smell is horrible. It's so bad. All right, I think I just got that on my nose. It only has one shimmer, and I actually think it's kind of dark. It just didn't do it for me. I would rather have a lighter shimmer, and it, I don't know, a little patchy too. So I kept this, I didn't declutter it, because the mattes are actually quite pretty. But I don't know if I, I don't know if I would run out and get this. So it's kind of, I'm on the fence on it. If you think these colors are right up your alley, the product itself, I think actually lasted a good amount of time. Like I do think it's a good palette, just not one for me. I also tested the Kosas Airbrow Gel in that, and I'm going to actually review this in an upcoming video again. So I'm just gonna hold off on giving you my final thoughts. Okay, the rest of the things that I used in that video, either I've shown you again, like in a Yahoo's and Boo's or a follow-up video, or I've talked about it already. So I'm not gonna cover any more in that video because I already did. Okay, the next one was a get ready with me with no edits. I tried the Catrice, what is this called? The Plumping Primer Concentrate. I think this is okay, but I don't think it's anything that I would have to run out for. I honestly, did not see any difference in the longevity of my foundation. I didn't see that it really did this plumping thing. I just think this was, eh, I would not buy this again. So this to me is just no. And this is another one of those, it smells bad. Like I'm like, oh, it literally smells like BO. <laughs> like, gross. Okay, in that same video, I also um, tried on the Too Faced Brow Wig and again, this is one of those I'm going to do a follow-up because of an upcoming video. You probably are gonna get the gist of what that video is about. Okay, again, a lot of the things in the rest of that video I have followed up with in other videos and vlogs and things like that, so I'm not gonna talk about the rest of those. Although, if you've seen them and you feel like I didn't give it a good review, please, of any of these, let me know, not a good review complete review. Let me know in the comments and I will go back and look because I definitely want you guys to feel like it was completely reviewed. 
Okay, the next video, it was almost all new e.l.f. makeup, but I think there was a couple other things in there. Yeah, there was a couple other things that I talked about. So this one had a lot of newer products. First was the e.l.f. Hydrating CC Cream. What is it? Camo Hydrating CC Cream. I'm actually wearing it today. And I'm holding up two because I couldn't get a good shade match, so I actually combined them. And this is supposed to be full coverage. I don't think it's full coverage. As you can see, like my little spot that I always struggle with, you can see it still coming through. And I did two coats of this with a brush. So it should give me that full coverage. It did not doesn't mean I'm disappointed though. I actually don't like full coverage foundation usually. So this one definitely makes you feel hydrated throughout the day. It looks beautiful on my skin. Like I really enjoy it. It's a little more glowy only because I'm gonna show you something I put under it. So I had to use a little bit more powder. That was not this, that was what I put under it. But I love this, highly recommend this foundation. I also tried the e.l.f. brow, what's it called? Just the brow pencil, I got it in neutral browns. I didn't like how bulky this was, which it's not a huge deal as long as the product is good. When I tried it in that video, it was brand new and it had a, they had chiseled the top of it so that it had a point to it. So therefore, I liked it. But now what it looks like is this and it's really thick. One of my favorite brow pencils is from Koki, another drugstore. It's so much thicker than my Koki one, and therefore it's going to not give me precision. I have such a hard time with getting a really nice filled in. I don't have a lot of brow. And so if you have a lot of brow and you're just kind of shading in the area, you may like this. The actual formula, I like. The actual color, I love. It didn't pull red at all, which I just struggle with all the time. It's definitely a neutral brown, love that. Sadly, it's just too thick of an actual pencil. I like it where I can get a precision. I don't necessarily try to get a hair, make it to look like a hair, but I also don't want it to fill in so much that I feel like I'm just blanked out any a semblance of hair on my eyes. Brows. <laughs> Does that make sense at all? <laughs> okay, then I tried the L'Oreal Superstar. This is the Voluminous Superstar and I got it in waterproof. I think this is okay. Here's the thing I don't like about it. The primer is white and I just don't like a white primer. I want it to be brown or I want it to be black. Now, several of you chimed in on that and said, well, I like a white primer because I might choose to do a different color on top. So if it's a black primer, I have to do black mascara. I totally get that. And so therefore you may like, well, you're not going to like this unless you're buying that different color on the other side because the mascara is on the other side of this. So I understand the concept. I personally never wear any other color but black mascara. I'm, I've tried other ones. I just don't feel like it does anything for me. It's a good product but I would rather have a brown or black primer so I don't have to work at getting the mascara to cover up the white. Okay, I also tried the Camo Liquid Blush and I had them in two colors. I did not really like it in the video. I am wearing it today. I'm wearing the darker of the ones. I think it's okay. A few of you said you need to pounce, you need to pounce, which I know, but I like to try different ways of doing it. This time I did not use the brush. This came out the same time this did, and this is the, it's just the liquid blush brush. So it's made to go with this. I do not like this brush. So this time I used the BK Beauty 109, I think it's 109, and it was much better, but I honestly think it didn't I don't know, maybe I needed to put more on. To me, I would rather use different ones that I think are better for me. If I'm gonna use a liquid blush with an applicator like this one has, I would rather use the Tarte Man Eater one, which I hate the name of that, but I have a few different shades of this. Love this, it lasts, it's gorgeous. Or Laura Geller's Ser Serum Blush, this is in True Tawny. Love this, this kind of applicator I can put directly on my cheek and just take the brush and go. 
And this one I can put directly on my cheek and I can build it. Stands Out Beauty, you guys know I love, let me see if I can find it. I love the Stands Out Beauty sponge. I used it today. Love this for just managing the foundation and just smoothing out things. I've used this for years. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. They also sent me their lip glosses. And in the end, these were okay. A couple things I did not like. I hate the packaging. <laughs> it just, it's so, to me, this is very gaudy and I am not a gaudy kind of packaging. In the end, packaging really doesn't matter as long as the application is good. So the applicator itself is fine. Like I thought it was fine. They sent this to me. I thought that the colors of these, once it was on your lips, made no difference. Whatever one, it just looked always the same. I didn't feel like it was any different or anything special. Like it wasn't bad. It's not like my lips were sticky or it smelled bad or anything like that. It just meh. Okay. I also did a video. I forgot what the name of it is, but it was testing out subtle beauty, which is basically all these components in one blush, like everything's in here supposedly for a full face. And then the same one, I did the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation. In that, I tried these together and this did not go well. Like at the end of the night, basically everything looked like it was off. And so I've tried this probably three times after that. I've never liked it at all. It always looked patchy. Um, I wrote a note. I write notes to myself and I put it on here. So this says it shows polka dots. So I could see it settling in on my pores. It showed texture on my skin. So any amount of texture, it just showed it all. And I could not get it to stop making it look horrible on my skin. And then I was dealing with dry skin at that point, which I do most of the time. And it just amplified that dry skin. It just, I kept thinking, oh, this just looks bad. So no, I do not recommend this. At least it just didn't look, sorry, it's upside down. It just didn't look good on my skin. The Subtle Stacks. I've tried this several times and I got the powder on top. I just didn't think it was a great powder. I'm not wowed by it. The second one is a blush. That is their lip balm. The lip balm was atrocious atrocious. It's so hard and just, it says it has a color. Like I actually chose a color and you literally see no color. Like that's just looks like, you know, a bomb on my hand. So it's, it's no point of having a color. I got their bronzer. And then the last thing I got was their eyeshadow. This was the winner of the entire video. And I still think it. So what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to take the top off of this and put it on this. I'll use the eyeshadow, but sadly the rest of this, I'm going to declutter. I tried two new things from Laura Geller. I don't know if they're new to her or just new to me. This is the Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation. And then this is the Ideal Fix Concealer. This is okay. It is very, very, very little coverage. And I think I did two coats of it. I would rather just use a tinted SPF instead of putting an SPF on and then this. Like I just, this, it, it didn't give hardly any coverage. So to me, it's not worth the extra step. What's the point? So to me, um, I don't know, you may love it. <laughs> just, for me, it's not worth it. Um, the concealer, now I, I ordered the wrong color. It's way too light for me, but it also did not give me great coverage. And if that's its one job, then I need it to give great coverage and it just didn't do that. So to me, it's not worth it either. Not my cup of tea. Okay, I did a whole video with Sigma. Um, they had sent me a whole bunch of stuff. This one's a hard one for me <laughs> because I wanted to like their brushes. I, I really did. They, and they sent me a whole bunch of brushes. Now, the only one that I truly, truly did like was their Kabuki foundation brush. This one actually is good. I still don't think I would reach for it as much. Here's the problem. I am very spoiled. 
I totally get this because I have, to me, the best brushes, which are BK Beauty brushes and Refer brushes. And I have both of their entire lines because they've sent it to me. I have not been ever sponsored by either of them or anything like that. And I've not been sponsored by Sigma. Um, but I've gotten all of these things for free. But I can say what I want to say. These just don't measure up to those brush lines. I, if I'm going to choose eyeshadow brushes, it's going to be BK Beauty every time. I, I, I just love them. If it's going to be, I mean, there's other, I'm gonna show you a few other refer brushes coming up that I'm in love with. Like, oh yeah, really good. I feel like I got the best so far. So everything is measured to that, which is hard for me to say because I hate that people send me things and then I don't like it, but I have to be honest. And so I want to be honest with you guys. The lipstick, I am wearing their Infinity one right now. It's the Infinity Point. Can you guys see how I can see the lines? I've had it on for about an hour. It doesn't do well that way. The lipstick by itself does not gather in on my line. So that I did like. They also sent me their lip cream and lip oil. I got both of these. These do go into my fine lines. Like they seep down into them and so I could see color. And I'm very conscious over that because I do have lines, as many of us do at our age. So I wasn't thrilled with any of the lip products. I know we're not doing too well with Sigma, are we? There is a couple winners here. Okay, they sent me two blushes. They sent me a cream one and they sent me a powder one. I think these are okay. I, I, I don't reach for them though. I, I Like I'm always like, oh, I like something different. Like if I'm not reaching for it, to me, it's not anything revolutionary. And so I don't feel like it was worth it. Along the same lines is their bronzer. They don't have a cream bronzer, and that is my preference for a bronzer. This was just pulled too orangey to me, so I wasn't thrilled with this color. So that could just be a color thing. So for me, these just didn't work. Okay, a couple things that did work. Their brow pencil. I actually used it today, and I like this. One downside is that it's very creamy, and I think you're going to run out of it pretty quick because of it. So you can see it pulls a little bit red. This is the e.l.f. one that's neutral. This is the medium brown from Sigma. So it pulls a little red, but it pulled more red on my skin than it does on my eyes. Like I don't feel like my eyebrows look red tinted. Um, if you think differently, say that below, because I know sometimes I see things, but you guys see it differently. Also depends on what you're watching it on. I totally get that. If you're looking for a, a brow pencil that is a bit thinner, I did like this. I can get nice, easy lines. It doesn't pill. It stays on all day. So it's a good brow pencil. They also sent me their Tint and Tame Brow Gel. I do like this. It does keep them upright. Like it's been on my eyes now for a couple hours and my brows are upright. I do think you have to take some off. I think there's too much on the spoolie. So that's a bit of a struggle, but it stays on all day and it's not crispy. If you like a colored brow gel that feels good, like it doesn't feel that crispy stuff that some people can't stand. I don't mind it, but some people can't stand that. I get it. This one doesn't do that. So, and it does keep them tamed all day. Their eyeshadow palette, I got it in Ambience. I love this. And I don't use all the products or all the colors I've used. I use this one and this one today. Those are the only two I used. And then I also used this one when I did the video. I will never use this too strong. Um, this one's too orange. This one I might use, but it's a little bit too red. And this one, oh, <laughs> this one, is pretty bronzy. So if I wanted to get a bronzy look, I would go for this. The formulation is good. It didn't have a lot of fallout. Really good. Loved this. And of course, which I said in this video, I love these two products. This is their brow duo. This is their brow powder. And I clearly use this a lot. I love this stuff. And then the switch, Sigma switch. This is so when you are using a brow or using a brush and you need to switch it and use it, you just, ah, oh, 
It is the best thing, double-sided, easy to clean. Okay, let me show you about, tell you about the three refer brushes. These are made for liquid products. First is their foundation. This is the B, BO2. I use this today to put on my foundation and I like this. And remember, I'm comparing this to BK Beauty's 106, which is my absolute favorite brush. This one rivals it. Um, and Refer does amazing sales sometimes, like half off or more than half. Like I would keep an eye out on some of the products that I've shown you that I think are really good. You can get some amazing deals. When they're full price, they're not cheap. But because they do so many things and they have a concept store because it's a newer brand, this one's a good brush. I like its density. I like that it's angled. I like that it's small so I can get control. I just think this is a really good for liquid blush, blush no, liquid foundation. You could absolutely use this for a liquid or cream blush or a cream bronzer. You absolutely could use this. They also came out with the B01, and this one is more of a concealer brush, and I like this because it gets right in the crux of my under eye and I can get control of it. It's not too big. It's got a good denseness, but it's also movable. Love this. And then they came out with the B03. This one I'm not, I'm like on the, I'm like, eh, it's okay. This one is supposed to be for liquid eyeshadow. It's okay. I don't, I don't think this is revolutionary or anything, but I, it's a decent brush, but I just think these are amazing. This one's eh. Okay, I tried a new SPF. This is Eucerin's Sensitive Mineral Face 30, SPF 35. It's got zinc oxide protection and it's tinted. I use this today. I think to me it's a little bit too glowy and that is what I used under my foundation today. So first was this and then it was the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It feels good on my skin. It goes well under foundation as far as it doesn't pill or anything like that, but you do have to contend with the glow. So I, I'm on the fence about it because of that. I don't think I would wear it by itself. Way too glowy for that. Essence came out with a, it's called Bright Eyes Under Eye Stick Brightening Effect and Caring. Okay, I thought this maybe would be something like the Tatcha Serum Stick that I love that I put under my eyes when it feels dry. This did nothing. To me, it looked like it was just a shimmer. It almost looks like it's a highlighter. I'll rub it in more. To me, it's abysmal. Like this was like, nope, not having it. So <laughs> then I tried the Milani Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain and I got it in the color Rose Rising. This is a lip stain. I'll put it right, right here. That's the color to wipe this off right away. Okay. You can just tell it stains. I, I wiped it off and it's still there. It's a stain, I get that. This looked atrocious on my lips. As I was wearing it, it kind of settled into the lines, kind of like this one from Sigma's doing. But then when I wiped off the color and looked at the stain, I did not like the color at all. I just don't feel like this color, that's the stain itself, translated well on the lips. And then it didn't, it didn't wear off well, it wore off very patchy and, the only thing it had going for it is it was really hydrating. Like, that's a nice thing. It did feel good on my lips. But in the end, what it's supposed to do is make your lips look good for a long time. That did not happen. Okay, one thing I am so stinking excited about. Oh my heart. This surprised me big time. Now you're gonna know I actually love this thing. <laughs> this is the Essence curl fixing. If you have been around here for any length of time, you will know that I have to wear waterproof mascara every time or else it will uncurl my lashes. I will curl them with a curler, like a lash curler, of course. And I've had a few people say, well, you need to try a heated lash curler. It's not that my lashes don't curl. They curl. I've tried heated ones. They still uncurl if I use a non-waterproof until this. And I don't think this is as good as waterproof. I don't. 
but it gives me an option if I really wanted to try a mascara that's not waterproof. So I used it today. You can see my lashes are still a bit curled. I don't know if I can show it to you. Can I show it to you? Okay, so you can see they're a bit curled still. I don't think they're like way curled, but they still have a bit. Literally, my lashes are usually bone straight. So that's exciting to me. I actually have an option. So today I wore this first. And then I went in with the Lash Princess, obviously non-waterproof mascara. It didn't flake. It didn't, it, nothing. Like, I'm very excited over this. So I'll keep using it. If my mind changes, I will let you know. But so far, so good with this. I did try it with, this is from Ulta Beauty. It is their just multitasking mascara. This, eh, I, I wasn't thrilled by this at all. So I don't know. This one I didn't like. Then I tried it again with the Lottie London Super Fake Mascara. My lashes looked decent, um, but it flaked so bad. I hate this kind of brush, but sometimes they work. I don't know. This one, I had flakes all over my eyes at the end of the night. Okay, then I tried the e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. I did not like this. It was so gloopy feeling on my lips. Like, oh, I, I don't, I don't like it. It's one of those you click it, and I don't, it's just thick. Like I feel it sitting on my lips, and I don't like that feeling. The color is okay. Like the finish feel looks good, and it's a plumping. Like I can feel it tingling now, but not bad. It doesn't hurt at all. I think it's too heavy and too clumpy. No, not clumpy. Too. I don't know, I guess just heavy. Heavens to Murgatroyd, that was a lot of products, but yes, I got through it. I have no idea if that was fast. I think it was a long video, but I had so much to cover. If you love a speed review and you wanna check out one of my other ones, I'm gonna actually link two of them right here. All right, I will see you hopefully in one of those or another one. God bless.